I'm Amanda, your online stylist. Welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, we're so excited to have you. And if you're not already, please hit the subscribe button and click the notification bell so you never miss an upload. So today's video, I'm so excited for. So fashion moves fast. In summer and spring, we're already thinking about fall and winter because designers have to get their stuff ready to be in the stores so we as consumers can buy it. So I'm going to show you or tell you and show you actually because I have little mood boards of outfit inspiration based on each trend. What I predict are the most wearable trends that will be happening in the fall and winter season. We have the most trouble caveat because you know, sometimes things on the runway are a little dramatic and they're not things that we can really implement in our daily lives. So that's why having these little mood boards that I created will give you like a realistic view on how you can potentially wear these when you're going out or to work or whatever the situation is. So these are my personal styles and how I think the trends will look really good and cool in an outfit. The first one is oversized bomber jacket. So the bomber jacket was in trend like years ago, but it was a more like fitted bomber jacket. So the trend as blazers were, and still are, blazers are still in trend, don't worry. I never want this kind of oversized blazer look too out of style, but I'm getting off topic. Um, the oversized bomber is the look this season. And I really love, I love a good like play on feminine and masculine. So I love the satin, more elegant dress paired with a cooler, oversized, more masculine feel jacket like pictured here. So for the second one, as I was doing my research, I heard this called dopamine dressing. And I love that term, but it's basically just like super bright colors. So having winter and fall items in the very like typically spring and summer colors is going to be great this season. And I just, well, I'm trying to, it's not working, but I have this pair of bright yellow neon trousers in my shopping cart. So I need to figure that out because I think they'll be so perfect. But in the mood board I have here, you can see this would be great for fall. So this is beautiful bright pink dress with like a very fall over the knee boot and then a bright bag as well. So that's something to look forward to because I feel like in winter, especially where I live, it's very gray and dreary. So having those pops of color will probably like lift my spirits a little more. Number three is leather. And this can be in so many different ways. I've seen bright leather as a trend. So having that like dopamine dressing in leather is gonna be great, but you can get a leather skirt and that can be like a mini, a maxi or a mini. You can do a leather blazer. You can do really cool leather boots. Um, also, I just got last year this amazing like leather look blouse from Just Fab. So many different ways. Leather pants like pictured here and it just adds an elevated feel to any outfit and like a different like texture within it really makes it a little more special. Corporate styling is really big this year as well. I feel like because we were in the past couple of years, we were all in like loungewear. So now we're like, wow, we're excited because we can actually wear these things again because we have places we can actually go. And corporate styling doesn't have to be stuffy. It doesn't have to be uncomfortable. Like I find trouser pants, especially like oversized high-waisted trouser pants are so comfortable, like way more comfortable than jeans. I like them more than leggings. So it's, I just love it in general, especially the more oversized cool fit. And green is also still very big. It was big in spring and summer. It's still gonna be very big, which I'm so happy about. So I have this like really cool girl um, suit with like a matching green bra that I think is a really cool play on the corporate style. Number five is like this sporty, the example I do is what I would consider more like a sports luxe vibe. So track pants, track suits, matching sets. Um, but I really love the idea of like a more casual track pant with like a high heel and then a black blazer and like gold accessories. I think it's so cool, but elevated and really chic. Next is like no surprise. Boots are always obviously big, not just for fashion, but like practicality in the winter, especially when you live somewhere like me where it's just like snow and gross all the time. But particularly um, thigh high, like over the knee boots are gonna be really big and like a more flat heel and also biker boots. Um, so I have in the example here, like a cool biker boot with lots of studs and like hardware that looks really cool and edgy. And then next, so spring and summer, like the mini skirt had a comeback and I love a good mini skirt, but particularly low rise mini skirts were appearing and that's, not 
for me. Um, but in fall and winter, the maxi length is gonna be really big. So like a nice maxi skirt, like I pictured here. I love like a midi or maxi pair with like a high knee or like a higher boot. So like there's no skin showing, but like maxi dress layered with like blazers or even like sweaters is gonna be something that you can really do. And this is so wearable for work for your casual wear, for going out. So I love this one for practicality purposes. And lastly, sequins. I'm so excited because I actually, I feel like I was psychic. I knew this was gonna happen. I got this amazing pair of black, like kind of jogger style sequin pants at the outlet mall, like many, many, many months ago now. And I'm so excited to wear them because I got them when the seasons were turning. So I didn't really get a chance to actually wear them because it was getting into spring and summer. Um, so I'm so excited to pull this out. But um, sequins can be as simple as like a sequin bag like I'll pop in here or you can do a sequin pant or I, this is like my favorite mood board that I put together for this entire video because again, I love that mix of feminine and more masculine oversized versus mini because it really like balances each other out. So like this hot pink, super girly Barbie core style dress, which is also huge. I have a whole separate video on that if you want to watch it. Um, mixed with like the oversized bomber, like varsity jacket and then like a neutral heel. And I, even though like the jacket is more like masculine and oversized, the neutralness of it just makes it more like ethereal. So I love it with the Barbie pink, like in love with this whole look. So that's it, that's the video. Those are my trend predictions for this 22-23 um, fall and winter season. Let me know which one you're most interested in. I'm very excited to hear your thoughts on these new trends that are coming and which one do you think you'll like adopt into your personal style. And thank you guys so much for watching. I'll talk to you soon.